So we've seen a bunch of talks today that have covered everything from uh, Russian uh, APT actors, we've had Chinese APT actors, we've had a variety from around the Middle East. And the common theme that's arisen from a lot of these, particularly the ones that have been operating for quite a long period of time, are the fact that there are humans behind it and humans will always eventually make mistakes. So we've seen a consistent set of themes uh, in terms of the types of OPSEC failures from debug paths left in malware to the uh, abbreviations of the actors and operators' handles. For example, Ugly Gorilla, who is one of the most famous APT1 uh, actors scattered across all of their day-to-day -day activities and online forums. Uh, and we've seen, uh, especially for groups that have been around a while in their early days, a lot of OPSEC failures around their domain registrations. So everything from using personal email addresses to real names, forgetting to turn on privacy protect whenever they're registering domains, and then turning it on a day later. And we've even just heard from Adrian Nish as well, one of the Middle East actors who did actually register a domain uh, for command and control purposes, privacy protect turned on, then migrated it to a new provider and forgot about the privacy protect. So humans will always make mistakes, and that's probably the weakest type of element that researchers and incident responders can exploit whenever dealing with these types of threat actors.